So in this week's video, we're just going to use the same program that we're using last week and represent this in a HMI. We're just going to show how easy it is to use this program and put it up onto a HMI. So when you open the project, you'll be asked for a level one password. The pills have three types of passwords, level one, level two, and level three, and the default for each one is one, two, or three. Now these can be changed, but if they are lost, they can't be retrieved. So this is last week's program. Very simple. Four, four inputs, three stops on the light curtain, a reset button for the manual reset, and a feedback loop. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to represent four inputs on a HMI. So we're going to send them as virtual IOs to the HMI. And then on the HMI side, the user would program them. So we're going to use it very easy. We're going to use these connection blocks here. So these connection points allow you to represent the same item more than once. So if I loop the e-stop into this connection point, I can now represent the e-stop on a second page or on a second function. And by just That's the input of the connection block, and this then is the output of the same point. So I can only use connection point one, because this one here is connection point one, and that now is the output of this connection block. So I could use this in a second function if needed. So I'm just going to do that for the, for these four, four inputs. I'll also use the reset as well. So five inputs I'm going to use connection points on. So I now have five connection points, all of the five inputs. So my reset button is going to connection point five. But I have a lot of inputs and a lot of connection points. So there's an easy way to kind of name all these. So under the general tab equipment ID, I can actually name this e stop one. And e stop one then is displayed on the actual block. And I can do the same here with the connection point. I can go e stop one. I'm going to do that for all five of the connection points that I'm using, plus the five inputs, just so it's a bit easier to, to know which one is which. So I know I have my e-stop with a connection point, all my inputs connection points, and they're quite easy to see which one, e-stop tree, e-stop tree. So I'm going to represent these on a different page, just so for the HMI. So on the left-hand side, I can add a second page. And I'm just going to rename that page HMI, because this is all what my HMI program is going to be on this page. I'm also just going to rename the first page and I'm just going to call it inputs. So now on page two, I can drag up my connection points again and it can ask me which one of the five. So since I have five input connection points, I now have five output connection points I can use. So I'm just going to represent each one, e stop one, do the same for e stop two, e stop two, and do the same for all five. So I want to send these via the Ethernet cable on the H or on the PNAS multi to the HMI. And this is done via the outputs here on the right hand side. So if I just double click on one of these, it gives me the options, loop, profinet, or virtual. So I want to use the virtual. So it gives me 128 different outputs. So I'm just going to use output zero. It's simply just connect these two together. And now I'm going to represent the e stop, whether it's healthy are are closed or open or closed on the virtual IO via the Ethernet cable. So on the HMI program, I'd be looking at input zero is the e-stop one. And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna use virtual IO. It won't allow me to use output zero because it's already assigned. So output one. And just do that the same for all five. So I'm now sending the five inputs back to the HMI, and they can be represented in the HMI program via the, the virtual I.O. But if I wanted to send from the HMI to the the, the, the PNAS multi, I can do that quite easily, but I'd have to use a safety function as well. So if I wanted to turn on an output via a push button on the HMI screen, that's using a standard function to a safety output, which, which can't be done. So I, I can't use from the virtual IO, I can't use an input because that's a standard function. So it won't let me drag and drop to here. What I have to use is I'll have to use one of the e stops. So if I used e stop one, if I used e stop one as my point. And use an and block. I can now configure the and block for input for a standard function. So I would have to put the e stop as my safety function, my virtual IO as my standard function, 
and now we can actually control the the relay output via virtual I/O. So that's how easy it is to communicate with a HMI or to make a HMI program via the the PNAS multi-base unit. So if you have any questions on what we did today, drop them in the comments below.